question is not society versus Rome. I think if you see the, the whole thing like that, it's a wrong understanding. I, I definitely don't look at it this way. Since Paul VI, so it's not new, it's, I mean, we may say, since the council, you have this apprehension that there is something wrong in the church. Uh, a movement, strong movement, which is going uh, astray, which is no longer, let's say, uh, giving the Catholic line, but from people who are in position, and so who give the impression it's the Catholic Church. Many people have an understanding of the Council, which is a wrong understanding. And now we have authorities in Rome who say it. We, I may say, in the discussions, I think, uh, we see that many things which would have, we would have condemned as being from the Council are in fact not from the Council, but the common understanding of it. Religious liberty is used in so many ways and looking closer, I really have the impression that not many know what really the Council says about it. Uh, the Council is presenting a religious liberty which in fact is a very, very limited one, very limited. Uh, it, uh, we, in our talks with Rome, they clearly said that to, to mean that there would be a right to error or right to choose uh, its one, uh, its uh, religious religion is false. Conflict situations are not from today. The Church had to deal with them a long time ago already. What she requests from the states and so on is not new. And so we have no problem with the act, let's say, requesting this freedom for the Church and let's say, being in the Middle East, being in, now in the States and so on. It's rather which principle is invoked to do it. We would argue that there might be another principle which would be more accurate to, to justify the action, which was called before tolerance. We have to profess our faith, we have to show it, we, we are not supposed to hide it, but in certain circumstances, uh, just life tells us that we better bow down. <laughs> if there is a time of persecution, for example, nobody is obliged to provoke the, the opponent or the persecutor. Just in itself, the best situation is when you have a whole society which is going the same way. It also helps to unity, to peace, to everything. And of course, religion is, um, is a major part in the human heart. And if you are one in the religion, you, it helps to, to have this peace. And I may say, well, that's the commandment of our Lord to his church. We have to go to all nations and teach them what our Lord said. Now, when you are in a situation which is a mixed situation, which is, let's say, the reality, uh, I would say, well, that's not the idol, but that's the situation in which you are. And that's, let's say, where you have to do your uh, job, your duty as a Christian. So you have to give this witness to the others. You must try to uh, help them, help them. We want everybody to have that a wonderful happiness of heaven and trying to bring them to this uh, knowledge. If you, you think of what happened to them during uh, World War II, they do consider, let's say, the, the Christian position towards them as the cause of what happened to them, which we claim that's wrong. It's not true. Hitler was he might, might have been baptized, but his behavior absolutely anti-Catholic. It was not the Catholic behavior which he followed by doing what he did. And I, I, f I think it's not fair to put the burden of what happened to them then on the Catholic Church. If you look what Pius XII did for them, talk about 700,000 Jews who would have been saved by the Church, by Pius XII. But when you see all the comments on the Jewish side about Catholicism, you see this antagonism, which is, does not come first from the Catholics. 
I don't think so. Personally, I would have wished to have to wait for some more time to see things clearer. But once again, it reappears that the Holy Father wants it to happen now. The, the move of the Holy Father, because it really comes from him, is genuine. If this uh, recognition happens, it's to thank, thanks to him, definitely, and to him alone.